Well, I would say the collar is working. It definitely appears that it's working. Which means we're about to have to make a really quick decision as to when we're going to shoot these. I want to get the male. But this female is really, really close. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video. This is going to be an early access look of the brand new Ambusher Pack DLC for the Hunter Call of the Wild. Thank you to Expansive Worlds for allowing me to try this out early. So far, I've had a few shots with this new rifle, and it seems pretty good. But I figured what a better way to start the video than taking down an alligator. Let's see what type of damage this does to the lungs. Holy crap, that is crazy. Now, considering the alligators are very tough if you shoot them in the lung, I'm surprised that it took it down that quickly. Let's go ahead and just uh, turn the collar off real quick. This is honestly a cool little device. I don't know how much I'm going to use it like uh, in the future of the game, but for now, it's kind of a fun thing to mess around with. And I can totally see it being fun for some challenges, but look at the penetration on the 44 Magnum lever action. This thing is kind of insane, and we're gonna take on some game that it will knock down much, much quicker very, very soon, but I figured we would start out with a gator because it just seemed really cool to call in a gator and then take it down with the new rifle. And it was, this was a cool experience, and our other gator's dead over here. So there is the other gator, let's go ahead and take a look. So it easily got through both lungs, now, with the gators, you typically want to go for the neck or the brain because they do die very slow from lung shots. But honestly, the 44 did pretty well considering all things that I just mentioned. Oh my gosh. Well, we're off to a great start on the day. That is a level 9 legendary American alligator. That's, that's insane. I think the only fitting thing that we need to do to take this guy down is use the brand new bow. This is the other weapon that's going to be coming with this pack, and this is going to be a game changer for the people that enjoy the bow hunting in the game, and maybe even the people that didn't really like the traditional bows. This is going to be a game changer because it is a traditional bow that you can put a sight on, which is pretty cool. This is the takedown recurve, and I have yet to fire this thing or uh, yet to fire an arrow from it, so really excited to see how it's going to do. And it's looking like we're going to get to try it out very, very soon. Because we may end up having an aggressive gator situation here. That one is just defensive. There we go. Sunk an arrow into him. So there is the gator that we took down with the bow. Let's go ahead and take a look at this guy. We ended up hitting it just a single lung, so that explains why it died a little bit slower than what I was hoping for. It was only a single lung hit, probably because of the angle. I mean, ideally, as I said, you want to go for neck shots and brain shots, but we're just kind of we're just kind of testing these guns out, or uh, this gun and this bow out to see what they can do. So I figure hitting them in the lung will. Give us a little more of an idea of the kill time. Now, there's a couple things I got to let you guys know as we stock up on this American Alligator. One, for the first time in a while, the uh, progress that we get from this early access will carry over. I'm not sure why they keep going back and forth. I mean, at one point, we were uh, not able to save any progress from early access. Then for a couple updates, they let us save progress from early access. Then they went back to not letting us. And now they're back to letting us save progress. I, I don't really think there's any pattern. It just seems to be kind of random. But yeah, all the progress from this early access will carry over to the live game. So I am considering trying to grind for a great one during this early access period because we will have a few days to do so. So if you guys want to see me try to grind for a great one fallow deer or something and take it down with the brand new rifle or the brand new bow, let me know in the comments down below. And the second thing that I wanted to mention is this pack will release on October 10th. So... You guys will have a few days to watch this early access content and figure out if you want to purchase it before buying it. So hopefully this will give you an idea of what you can expect out of all of these items. I think it is about time that we use this to call in that legendary. Because what better way to take down this legendary gator 
then with the bow, after we called it in with the brand new electronic collar, this could be really, really fun and really cool. Let's hope that it works as good as I'm expecting it to. Let's sit in the bush over here, make sure it hides us fully. Okay, this is not hiding us fully, so we will need to find another spot to sit. So unfortunately, there is absolutely no bushes or trees around here that will fully hide me, which means we're just going to have to deal with it and hope that we don't spook him off. Activate the collar, and now we wait. Oh, there we go. He's traveling. And I would think that means he's probably coming over to the collar. He's roughly 100-ish meters away, so he's going to take a little while for him to get over here. But this should be pretty sick once he does. Oh, no, he's kind of going behind us. He's now attentive. I don't like that at all. We got to be really, really careful. This is not going exactly the way that I thought it would. He is being a little bit stubborn. So it would appear the gator is attempting to take a bit of an ambush route, which is not what I had planned for. And in fact, this is quite bad in, in terms of making a, a, a good, easy shot. This is probably not going to be an easy shot unless, unless he does that. Okay, maybe it's going to be a little better than I thought. I hear him. Oh yeah, he is really, really close now. He is dangerously close. He gonna notice us? He's totally gonna notice us. He's attentive. He's calm now. About 28 meters away. Okay, we got a chance of this working. If we can just keep him calm and get him to turn, then we've got basically a perfect shot here. There goes nothing. That looked like a good shot. I guess we'll know soon if we see the HP go down at all. It was good. It was good. We got him. That is vital blood. Oh my gosh. I mean, gators are so tough that it doesn't surprise me that we didn't see the health go down at all. But oh my gosh, we got a vital hit. We did it. We got ourselves a potential diamond gator with the brand new takedown recurve while using the brand new collar. That is crazy. I can't believe that worked out as well as it did. The only thing that kind of went against us was the fact that we couldn't find a place that hit us completely. Like, none of these bushes were giving us full cover, which is a little unfortunate, but we still got it. We still made it work. There it is. Please let this thing make diamond. And it's a diamond, 497.37. It's a small diamond, but he still ended up making it, and that is all that matters. We have officially got our first diamond with the brand new takedown recurve. That is just incredible. I'm, I'm so happy with that. And the takedown recurve, uh, doing good for the situation. A quartering shot is not easy on a gator, and it did okay. It didn't get double lung, but it did manage to get into a lung, and that's all that we needed right there. Well, we've got a bear over there. We might as well test it out with a bear. Let's put the collar over here and uh, see if we can get this bear to come in. Just select the black bear collar, and there we go. Well, we may not have been able to get hidden for the gator, but we just got a hiding spot for this bear encounter. If we can find it. We may have attracted a different bear. I hear something over here. Now, I wonder. Can I turn it off and still have the uh, attraction active from the calls that it did here? There it is. That is our bear. That is the same bear that we did see, so it's not a second bear. It just uh, came in from a different angle. Here it goes. Here it goes. Oh my gosh. And there was deer here as well. There was white tail here as well. Let's just... Holy crap, this gun is insane. This is actually going to be a really awesome rifle to use. It is just making quick work of everything that we're putting it up against. Holy. Like, we didn't even get a second shot into this bear. It died really quick just off of that first one. So now, something that I was a little bit worried about when they showed this gun off during the Expansive Worlds live stream the last week, I, I was a little bit worried about the fact that every time you would shoot, it would exit the scope. Let's see if it does it here. 
No, it's not. It's not doing it anymore. I'm wondering if I remember, I'll put it up on screen. I'll put up a clip of what I'm talking about. I wonder if that was just because he was at the shooting range or maybe his perk selection was def was different than mine because it's not kicking me out of the scope every time that I shoot, which is good because that was my major gripe with it that I was really worried about. And now that that is apparently not a thing, that makes this 10 times better than what I originally would have thought it was. I would say that so far from what I'm seeing, this is a solid gun. Now, it's obviously not going to replace any of your long range weapons if you're going for animals at like 300 meters. But if you're primarily taking shots within 200 meters, this is going to devastate anything within its class range. It is so far an absolute beast of a rifle. We set up a collar. Let's go ahead and go back to Black Bear. Because we heard a male black bear in that direction. Let's see if we can get him to come over here. That's him right there. Let's just watch him for a second and see if once he's done being attentive, he will come to the call. Because usually they won't if they're attenti attentive or alert or anything like that. But yeah, once he went to calm, he's now traveling. This collar's working amazing so far. All right, let's go ahead and turn the collar off. Because at this point, it should be attracted to it. And I believe with the normal collars, they're attracted for a couple minutes after you stop. I would imagine it's the same for this one. So we should have a little bit of time uh, to take the shot on this guy whenever we spot him again. Oh my gosh, there's another bear. Where did that one come from? We've got two bears in the area. A male and a female. I want to take the male, but... This female's right here, so we might take her down. Okay, so the male actually stopped being interested in it. So maybe turning it off was a mistake. Let's try again. Let's see if this attracts him once again. Yeah. So maybe we do need to keep it turned on. Here's our chance. We got them both. Man, I am absolutely loving the possibilities that this little setup is going to bring us. Not only is this collar actually going to be really useful for situations where you want to take something down with a bow or maybe you want to take something with iron sights, but you don't want to use a traditional collar because you can't get a good broadside hit usually when you're using those. Typically, if you're using a regular collar, you're not going to have them coming at uh, coming at you at an angle and so you end up having to take a lot of frontal shots and not everybody is comfortable with those so this is going to give you an option to set the collar up and then move away to the side so that the animal will come in at an angle to where you'll get a perfect broadside shot this will be a game changer for those types of scenarios and also if you want to stand hunt this is going to be a really awesome tool to have just because you can flip through a million different uh, calls for all the species on the reserve I could definitely see it being used a good bit. I know for a fact I'll use it for some stuff. Probably not everything and probably not every day, but I'll definitely be able to find some uses for it. So as far as I can tell, they're currently not at this uh, resting zone up here, but there is a whitetail zone. So I set it to whitetail time. Let's see how it does calling in some whitetail. There is, wow, there is so many options. Bleat, snort, and grunt. Can we just do the snort? There's the grunt and the bleat. We'll do the snort. Wow. That is so cool. It does different patterns and different like styles of snorts. That's so cool. Okay, so I may have... I may have judged this collar a little bit early before we got a chance to actually try it out because in previous videos I had said I wasn't nearly as excited for it as I was the uh, brand new 44 lever action but after seeing what it can do and all the different stuff that 
Like all the different calls that it comes with and the different styles of calls for each animal. I'm impressed. It's working out a lot better than I thought it would and it's going to make for some really unique and fun hunts. Is it a necessity type of item that you just absolutely must buy? No, it's not a necessity. But if you enjoy this type of hunting that we're doing right now, this is definitely going to be something you will want to try out. So we're going to get back to the whitetail soon, but I just saw some turkeys over to the left. So I think we'll try to get them to come over here. Oh my gosh, this thing ran up so fast. It ran up so fast. Okay. 40 meters. We should be good. We hit the tree. Oh no. Oh no, I did not realize the tree was in front. Come on, come out of there. Holy crap, all the turkeys. There's so many of them. There are so many turkeys. It is a full on turkey party. Nailed it. Okay, second time's the charm on that one. Now let's see if we can get any of these others. Well, there's one of the whitetail. Guess we'll go to the whitetail call. There's our buck right there. And we got two does here as well. I want to see what this does at close range. It's absolutely no shot. <laughs> like, they have no shot. These deer have no shot against this 44. Holy crap, that is powerful. That is a super, super powerful shot. Yeah, I definitely think the 44 lever action is my favorite part of this pack. This rifle is just incredible. I think it's time we go try a long range shot with it as well. We've been doing a lot of close range today, so let's get a long range shot with the brand new 44. So I would say that it is probably safe to say that I was wrong. I was definitely wrong about pretty much everything in this pack. Now I thought the uh, I thought the bow wouldn't be really anything special, and it, it does seem to be quite different. I mean, personally, I'm probably not going to use it a ton just because I don't use bows very often. And I would say that if you if you're somebody that does use bows and you want something that's completely different and unique from everything else, then this is a great bow for you. However, if you just want any bow that's going to work, this thing works just the same as any of the compound bows. It's just like your bear claw, your hawk edge, things like that. So it's not a necessity item, but it is a lot more unique and interesting than I originally thought it would be. Now, as for this 44, this thing right here is a lot better than I even expected it to be. I thought it would be good because the 44 handgun is very powerful and this has an extended range. So I knew it would be good. I figured it would be a fun rifle to use, but I didn't think it was going to be this powerful. It is dropping things at pretty much any range. The only thing we have not tested is past 150, which we're going to be doing next. But so far, I am just so incredibly impressed with this pack. A lot more than I thought I would be in. And of course, one of the big things also with the 44 is the fact that it does not kick you out of the scope like we initially thought it was going to each time you take a shot. That is huge. That is absolutely huge because it means that you can take follow-up shots without having to find the animal in your scope again. And finally, the very last item, the uh, electronic collar. It's also a lot better than I thought it would be. I was thinking that it would probably just be kind of like a novelty item where you'll use it a few times just because it's kind of cool and it's different and maybe I'd use it for a video here or there, but I probably wouldn't use it in my regular loadout. It probably wouldn't be a mainstay in like my multiplayer hunting loadout or anything, but after using it and actually getting to see how cool of an experience it is to hunt for these animals with the collar in that way and how useful it can be for getting broadside shots for bow hunting and the amount of different calls and the amount of different styles of call for each animal really is making me think that I was completely wrong about the electronic collar. I think it's actually quite good. Now, the one thing that is a little bit, a uh, little bit tough is the fact that it weighs five units. 
this thing weighs five units, which means it's not going to be a lightweight thing. You're going to have to sacrifice bringing one of your weapons, which can be seen as a negative by a lot of people, including myself. Not a fan of how heavy it is. I think it would be a little bit more realistic to drop it down to maybe three units because that would kind of equal the weight of the amount of calls you would have to carry for every animal on the reserve anyway. So I would definitely recommend if the developers are listening and they're probably watching this video, I would say please lower the weight of it. It does not need to be five units. I feel like that's a little too punishing for using it as it's not going to be something that is used in every scenario. It's going to be a situational item and I do feel like it should be reduced to about three units instead of five units just to give it a little more balance because right now it feels like that's too much weight to sacrifice for something like a collar. All right, I think this is going to be the final test we do with the 44. Can we hit a shot at approximately 280 meters? It's not quite 300 like I wanted, but this is still going to be a really good test of what it can do. Now, on the live stream for EW, Jaxi Beard was using the first mil dot for 300 meters. So we need to be like right there. And that will be a vital hit. And oh my gosh, the speed that it died even at that distance is crazy. Yeah, this rifle is probably the best part of the pack, if you ask me. This thing is really, really fun and really effective. And if you know the bullet drop of it, it can be effective clear out to almost double its range. And by range, I, of course, mean it's zeroing distance. It can it seems that it's effective clear out to around 300 meters. And the max zero distance is 150, which is pretty insane. Usually guns aren't that good that far past their effective range. There we have it. Double lung, no problem getting penetration. And it just absolutely demolished this poor deer. That's kind of crazy. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this early access look at the brand new update. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below. And of course, if you have any feedback, leave it in the comments as well as I'm sure the developers will probably be reading through the comments section it's uh, very likely that they watch these types of videos because they obviously want to get the opinions of everybody. So leave your feedback for what you've seen in the comments down below. And also let me know if there's anything else you would like me to test with either of the new weapons or the brand new collar, and I will do my best to do so. Unfortunately, we didn't have access to the skin pack, so I'm not able to show off the brand new skins. But once full release hits, we will be showing off the skins as well. So stay tuned for that within the next few days. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.